Hi and welcome to OutdoorTankless.com In this how-to presentation I will show you how to set up the Equitemp L5 bundle for a nice warm shower. Since you need a few non-included parts to connect all Equitemp L5 bundle pieces together, a lot of people have been asking us what parts they need to purchase separately. We'll talk about these non-included parts which you can easily get from most hardware stores. Here are the parts you need to purchase separately. A 3 quarter inch male by a half inch brass hose barb adapter, 3 hose clamps, 2 wire nuts, and 2 pieces of half inch garden hose about 3 to 6 feet in length. It's obviously not possible to purchase a hose this short, so you'll need to purchase the shortest hose available and cut the lengths needed with a hacksaw. Depending on how you want to connect your water pump to a power source, you may need a few extra parts to make that work. For this presentation, we're going to use an ACDC power adapter normally used for powering coolers, but you can also connect the water pump directly to a deep cycle battery, which you'll need if you're planning on setting it up in an area where there are no power outlets. So here's what we're going to use to power our pump, a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter and an AC-DC power adapter that's normally used to power up coolers. Here we have the Equitemp L5 water heater and the 50 PSI Flowjet water pump. It's important to know that if you're going to mount the pump vertically as shown here that you mount it with the pump head facing down. This will prevent water from entering the motor chamber in the event of a leak. And now I'm going to show you how to connect all these different parts together so that we have a fully functional water heater with good pressure. It's now time to connect the 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter to the water pump. Use the wire nuts to connect the wires together. Here the end of the hose connected to the pump is connected to a 90 degree pump port that's included with the water pump and I use the hose clamp to make sure it's tight enough to prevent leaking. On the other end of the hose we have the brass hose barb adapter that we're connecting to the water input, also secured with a hose clamp. This is our strainer used to keep debris out of the pump. We're connecting it to the pump inlet port connector. Now we have everything set up to feed water to the Ecotemp L5 water heater. For this demonstration we use the bucket as the water source but other options are available such as a water container, a rain barrel or even a lake. Now at this stage we can connect the gas regulator and hose which comes included with the Ecotemp L5 water heater. Okay, we've now completed the setup. All we need to do now is turn on the propane, the L5 water heater, and the water pump. As you can see, the water pressure is pretty incredible, and that's thanks to the 50 PSI generated by the Flowjet water pump. It comes real close to a home shower. 